so I'm Aaron so if the basic construction of this robot kit is done so if you want to watch how I did I do this you can find the link of part one of this video in the description of the the video and this and today I'm going to do the part two of this video which is the line follower robot so to make the line follower robot we need a screwdriver IR sensor so let's begin making this line following robot so now I've taken out the IR sensors these are the IR sensors as you can see so we need to place this in these holes and tighten them with these screws so I'm going to do that now insert the screws and just insert it inside place it properly and tight the nuts so we have to do in all these four the same process so after installing the IR sensors we have to follow this this is the Arduino motor shield and these are the left and right motors and all the instructions are clearly given you have to just follow these I'm just showing you how to do those I'll be providing this link so this is the link of the Robo India and we have all the tutorials in this site which I'll provide it in the description and you can follow the rule so after installing these IR sensors over here you have these two wires of this battery first wire will go in this one and the black one will go in the second one so that's how you do it so for that you have to take the screwdriver and just loosen the screw and insert the wire inside and just tighten it again so then we have to install the positive wire to the positive and the negative wire over here positive wire would be near to the reset switch in the motor sheet and you can see the mark of positive and this is the ground so that's how it so now I have connected all the wires in this side over here this is a reset switch and over here these are the wires of the right motor left this is the positive this is negative positive and negative if the uh, when you connect it to the Arduino and you to your computer the Arduino to computer and upload the code if the motors are turning backwards then you have to change these positive negative it's just interchange those if it's moving forwards then it's all right then over here we have to connect all the wires as it's specified in this you can read it left sensor pin A right sensor pin A so this I'll be providing it so now I'm going to connect it to my laptop and see how it's working so before doing that I want to show you that this is the site roboindia.com from where I got this robot so four robots can be made with this kit 
So now I'm I'm showing you the first robot which is the line follower robot. So I'm going to click the line follower robot. In my other tutorials I'll show the rest of the robots. Now here you can see how all this works, the wires and everything which you need to connect. Arduino motor shield. You can pause this and so now first we'll test the motor connection. It is it's written that it's difficult to find ground and positive supplied terminal of motor. Transfer the following code to the Arduino board. The robot should move in forward direction if not doing so, interchange of the wire of the motor. Example suppose left motor is rotating in backward direction, the right motor is rotating in forward direction, then you have to interchange the wires of M3 terminal. That means that the wires that are connected to the motor shield from the motor, if it's not working properly, like if one is going backward or if one uh, wheel is rotating backward and one is rotating forward, then you need to interchange the wires. Now I have uploaded the code in this. So as you can see, this is the code for forward robot motion. This is not the code for the line for line robot, this is just to check whether the motors are working properly. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect my Arduino. I'm going to connect my robot to my laptop. So I'm going to download this code now, the second one. So before downloading this code, you need to make sure that this is working properly, this code. So just I'm going to go into my app. I'm going to open the code and I'll show you. So this is the code for the line following robot. And all these codes and I have tutorial, I'll be providing it in the description of this video. I'm just going to connect my Arduino to the laptop. And as you can see, it started to move forward. Now, now I have interchanged the wires. As you can see, both the motors are moving forward. Means the setup is working perfectly. So now I'll be showing, uploading the line following robot code. Just upload the line following robot code. And in the meantime, I'll just read it what is written. Once you have transferred this code to the Arduino window, your robot is ready to follow the line. Put the robot on a white line of thickness 25 to 30 millimeters. The background is to be black. So this is what it's written. Now it's compiling sketch. So now I have uploaded the code. It should work now to follow the line. I think one sensor is not working because it's not blinking. Don't know why. So I'm just going to test it outside now. Will it? So I have finally uploaded the code to the line following robot. And I made a track as you can see. Actually, the problem was one of the sensors was not working, but uh, I have talked with the customer service of the Robo India, and they were really nice, and they replaced me with another sensor. So before testing whether this works, the line for the robot, we have to first remove these two wheels, and we have to calibrate the IR sensors. So first I'm just going to remove the wheels. Just going to turn it over. And you should do this really carefully. So now I have removed both the wheels. Just keep them aside. And insert the batteries in the battery holder. So now I have removed the wheels and inserted the batteries and the motor just spinning, you can hear the sound. So now in the black side these LEDs over here should not blink 
and the white it should blink if it's blinking in the white then the what then the sensors are working properly so as you can see it's blinking in the white so the sensors are working properly if it's not doing so we need to calibrate the sensors with the help of a screwdriver you can just turn it till it stops blinking in the black side and it will start blinking in the white part so now this means my sensors are working properly now you can insert the you can put the release back on and it should be working fine so now i'm just going to test the robot now just going to insert the battery and i'll test it out so i'm just going to insert the battery inside and the motors have started you can see so i'm just going to keep it on the track And as you can see, it's following the line properly. So this is how the line follow robot works. I made this with the Robo India kit. And if you want to buy this kit, as I told you, the product link is in the description. Now next, I'll be making the DTM of robot. Then I'll be making uh, the PC control robot. And at last, I'll be making the Arduino obstacle avoiding robot with this kit. So these four robots you can make this with this one kit, and the cost of this kit is just two thousand five hundred rupees. And you the buy link is in the description of this video. So please check it out, and you can get yourself an awesome robot like this. You can learn the basics of robotics very easily, and as I told, the customer service of Robo India is really nice.